everybody, hey 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 everybody, hey
see it tomorrow, guys. Hey, no! The camel's names are Jay-Z and Mickey Mouse. I kind of have a thing against riding animals for fun, so I didn't love this. I went on some big tourists on my back, but went in Egypt, I guess. This is a great thing. Those have the wisdom of the man and the body of a lion. I was pretty overwhelmed at this point. I think I experienced a bit of a culture shock. The stairs were getting to me, but we broke for lunch. I decided to start saying hello to anyone staring, and I was opened up to some of the nicest, warmest people ever. Egyptian people are so awesome. You just have to break the ice. Gold. <laughs> Abdul hooked it up because we were able to go behind the ropes and take a closer look. Eyeliner, face still snatched. I had to take some sexy poses with the Sphinx, of course. And after, I bought a bunch of little souvenirs for my family. Thank you very much. So, in case you were wondering, Egypt is hella hot. I'm here in the winter time. In other news, I'm about to go into another tomb. Here's some hieroglyphics on the bottom. This is absolutely stunning. And here far away you can see the hippopotamus and you can see the Hakuna Matata ones but some of the Hakuna Matata sh yeah and you can see the sh most of the fighting and now <laughs> for me please guys Pyramid from three, four thousand years ago. I'm inside the tomb. Um, wow. Look, look at the ceiling. Just, oh my gosh, like someone needs to be in here. And then thieves came and took the bodies. There was a big mummy in there. This tomb was 35 meters deep and we had to walk through a one meter wide and one meter high tunnel to get to it. But once we got to the bottom, as you saw, it had some of the most beautiful, well-preserved hieroglyphics and a sarcophagus still intact, mostly. Inside the mall, no shoe here. So, do you want to have a water thing like this here in the middle? Yeah. Tomb for a churn. There's honestly so much history in Egypt that I'm on. I've been here. I feel like I've done so much, and I still don't know anything. One thing I did learn is that ancient Egyptians really did love taking their belongings into the afterlife. The present life didn't mean much, but the afterlife was everything. I wasn't allowed to take my camera, but I also got to see King Tut's famous solid gold mask and the 5,000 beautiful pieces buried in his tomb. It was insane. Everything was gold. Well, that concludes the first part of my Egypt vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and follow, and love yourself, and I will see you guys in part two. Stay pretty.